What's up guys and welcome back to our full and career mode episode number 14. Now today we are starting off with a game. We actually received an offer from Nottingham Forest for Jamie O'Hara. Now we're going to count uh, 600,000 for him as I do want to get rid of him and I do want a bit of money really from him because as you see I am trying to buy Craig Bryson and bringing him in will definitely knock Jamie O'Hara definitely off the start 11, even the sub bench, because he doesn't play at all. But anyway, our first game was actually against Watford, and it was in the FA Cup. As we uh, beat Man U in the first round we played, in actually the third round, it's now the fourth round, and we're playing Watford, another Premier League team. And it was actually us that started the brightest. Uh, we came down the right with Samba Longa, he cut in, and he was really unlucky there that he didn't score. Uh, it was a good save, really, by Gomez. But as well, McCormack also made Gomez pull off a brilliant save as well with that free kick. So unlucky. I thought we uh, should have really scored in definitely them two chances. But that was it for the first half. Not a lot going on. I thought um, Watford, uh, they, they sat back a bit, you know. They didn't uh, really use their kind of main of Barbo, Dini, Igalo. I didn't really see them much. It was... I gotta say, I think we actually should have won this game because we did dominate him more. And as you see there, some longer again. Somehow, how he didn't score, I don't know. But this is actually their only chance in the game. And as you see, uh, it went wide, and Lonergan looked like he had it easily dealt with. And that was it for the game, really. So obviously, as you draw in the FA Cup in the first game, you also have to go play a replay, and uh, we will be. But anyway, training, Grimmer, our young right-back, goes up to 66. Great to see. Anyway, as we are in January now, obviously, there's transfers. First transfers, this uh, Victor Dorian Clamorales. Uh, I really don't want to say his name again, so I'm just going to call him Victor. I was going to sign him in the previous summer transfer window, but uh, we didn't have enough funds. But now I think we do, if obviously they ask for some money in with the Kakanikolic. I think uh, we'll be able to pay that because as well it looks like Jamie Harrow is going to be on his way to uh, Nottingham Forest. They did come back with 25 grand less and I said just give me 600k. What's what's the problem with that? I mean 25k is nothing. And also we put another bid in for Craig Bryson as Dave wasn't happy with a 1 million bid. And also Panathin Icos asked for some money for uh, Victor and we uh, put a bit of money into that deal as well. But anyway, second game in the episode against Brighton. In in my career mode, obviously they are doing half as well as they are in real life. They're actually um, quite near the bottom, to be fair. Uh, they, they beat us 1-0 at their ground earlier in the season. It was a bit frustrating because it was actually our, we got our first loss to them. But we did start off the game pretty well with uh, Kenny getting in that shot. But it was actually uh, then we would take the lead. They nicked the ball off us, you know, in our... Came uh, to the right with Hemed and he uh, slots it right into the top left corner. Um, Lonergan had no hands. Um, he's actually, I think, a good kill uh, uh, striker, this guy. I think he's about 74, 75 rated. So, really, I think from them chances, he should be putting him in. And as you see, he does. But I'm quite surprised at the rating he is. He's actually you know, got a lot of goals in the season. So... I don't know whether it's the formation they're playing or not. But anyway, Brighton came down again with a cross from the left. And again, Hemed had the ball and he just headed it over. But with our chance with a header, Kenny's got saved. But again, we play inside, you know, try to make something happen. We, uh, we nearly do, you know, we nearly get it in. But as you see, goes wide. It's just a bit frustrating really the first half. I thought we could have maybe made it 1-1. I thought we could have really not really conceded the goal to start with. But anyway, free kick in the 57th minute. Abita gets the ball back and Rossinia wipes him out. It's a penalty to us. I think it was a penalty. As you see here in the highlights, he does clip him. It's a right pen and McCormack is going to step up. And there's only going to be one victory and it's McCormack. He makes it 1-1. Good pen. Sends Stockdale the wrong way. And we are now back in the game. And we really needed that because if we didn't get this pen, I don't know how and where the goal would have come from, really. We've got a little break in the game and uh, we should make it uh, a win, I thought. And we was pressuring them. 
But to be fair, they didn't the ball for Zia again. And Hemed, I mean, showing this on the highlights, if it was an inch to the right, Lonergan, I don't think, would have saved it. Would have been one of them fantastic goals right into the top corner. But anyway, I felt like this was the game changer. Uh, their uh, player, Kyle, uh, the former Celtic uh, centre mid, the Israeli and was sort of sent off. And from then, don't get me wrong, there wasn't a lot of time left. We were pressuring and pressuring. Again, Obita. The man making it happen, passes it into the box, and there it is. Stearman, of all people, I went all out attack, 90th minute, he pops up, slams it into the net, and we've won the game. Our captain, our one of our best players, has won us the game. Well played by a beater, you know. He sent the defender the wrong way, it came in, great ball in, and well done for Stearman for staying up there and tucking it away. He gets his first goal of the season, and he also gets us the win. As you see, referee blows a full-time whistle. That's it at Craven Cottage. What a win. And uh, now, we're you know, we're on good form. I just can't believe how good form we are on. But anyway, back to transfers. Victor's uh, deal gets accepted. All need now is for him to off, uh, accept his contract. And the same with Craig Bison. I only need to get him to accept uh, his contract as well. And hopefully we can sign them to. But anyway, Josh McCreckeran. Uh, the former Chelsea uh, young star, uh, I went in for a bit for him. And you know, Kenny, he hasn't been performing very well lately, so I thought you might as well get a bit of a, a bit of young, more younger player than him and hopefully try and bring McCracken in. But anyway, as well, I sent a scout on in January to uh, find some pre-contract players for me in Spain and uh, he actually found three. Uh, two players from Almeria and uh, also Ferreira from Malaga. <clears throat> now I thought I'd just offer these contracts, see where they're at, see if they want to join us and uh, see uh, what deals will come through on deadline day. Yes, it's deadline day guys. Uh, the best bit is Josh McCrecker and Brentford accept that deal for Kearney's swap. So we offer him a contract. Uh, for everyone happy with his uh, first deal, uh, he said that he liked living in Malaga. Uh, so we offer him a new contract. Also, we accept the Victor deal, so he will come into our side. And the same with Craig By Bryson. God, it's such a weird name that one. And also, Hara gets sold to uh, Nottingham F uh, Forest. Another player going to them. And also, we sign McCreckeran, and he's coming. The thing is, though, I didn't. I had twenty, well, forty-two thousand left, and I had a bit of a dilemma. Do I sign both? Aziz and uh, Zongo, or do I just sign Ferreira and hopefully a player will go out on loan? But anyway, I decided to sign Ferreira because I do need a new centre back, you know. There's, I've only really got Dunk and Stearman, and I do need a young, a good young centre back. So I did sign him, hopefully thinking that someone might go out on loan, and actually they did. MK Dons came in for Teddy Bishop. Now, don't get me wrong. He's one of our, you know, good centre mid players. So I was thinking, should I? But then at the end, I thought, well, I might as well. He's only a fought for half a season. We have plenty of backup, and so I signed Zongo because I did think that we do actually need uh, a striker more than a CDM. But anyway, that was deadline day done, and uh, first thing was after that in February was training, and as you see, um, a bit of growth. I mean, Williams is nearly at uh, 69. But here, you guys, what's this all about? Uh, as obviously we got the replay with uh, Watford, look at that. We haven't even got a, a space in our games. We're going to be absolutely knackered, my players. I mean, they could have just done the Leeds game on the first and then the Watford game on the third. I mean, it being better than that. And also, even worse, uh, our best defender, Steelman, gets injured. I mean, it's only for eight days, but still, we'll miss both of them games, and these games are both crucial. But anyway, last game of the episode against Leeds United away. Hard game, especially with the team we're playing. I played our second team, so everyone out that work we're playing against Watford, and uh, just completely got a new team. The only player that will be playing is Lonergan, and actually, it's against uh, his old team, really. He used to play for Leeds. But anyway, we had the first chance. Marshall played the ball through to Gray, and somehow he misses it. You know, he falls over. He's not very good on that left foot, Gray. It's a bit annoying, really. And again, I thought he should have finished here, but Sylvester pulls out a good save, really. Anyway, again, we come down the left. 
You know, Taylor on the ball now, the Peterborough side lead. And again, he misses. I know it was from a tight angle, but still, I thought it could have maybe hopefully scored. And that was it for uh, the half. It was all us, really. Uh, Lees didn't have a chance at all. But they did actually start the brightest in the second. And they actually nicked the ball for us here. You know, played a few passes. Played through their new signing called Thiago Silva. And he slots it on past Lonergan. 1 0 to them. Ah, oh, so frustrating again, guys. You know, I give the ball away so easily. I wouldn't mind if it's near or in their half. It's just, I give it away around our 18 yard box. And I mean, I actually play on world class. Uh, I'm not that good at FIFA, I'm going to tell you that, guys. I'm not very good at all. But anyway, we uh, we came again, 75th minute, our substitute striker, Taggart, instead of playing McCormack, he pops up. That was actually his first touch of the ball, I'm not lying at all. That was actually his first touch. One touch past the defender, one touch to score. Well done to him, you know, staying alert. And uh, it was actually on loan at Dundee in the first half of the season, uh, the Scottish side. And uh, he did come back. I didn't want to send him out on loan again, because obviously I wouldn't have used him a lot. But anyway, uh, late on in the half, McCreckeran hits the post. Uh, he keeps it alive, Cole. He plays it in. Tunnycliffe, you know, he's on the ball. Oh, he shoots. Oh, you know, what a goal, lads. I kept it alive. Well played to Cole, you know. He just, he didn't, like, panic. He just passed it into the box. Uh, well done to McCreckeran. You know, he kept it alive as well. Played it to Tunnycliffe. Great finish from him. And, again, our form is so good. We're actually keeping up with QPR and catching up to him, which we do need, to be fair, guys. And that's how the game ended, really. 2-1 again. Uh, I can't remember the last time we lost. We're on such good form. And we need to keep this form up so we don't lose. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end it with a squad report. Because, uh, obviously, we've entered a new month. And the last one I think I did was in November. So, I may as well show you the growth. Because a few players have grown since there. But anyway, guys... Um, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, please like it if you have. Also, subscribe if you are new. And guys, I'll be seeing you later. Peace!